Hi, welcome back to week three of Wilderness Escape. I'm Marcy Rollins Smart, Children and Youth Minister at Little Rock Free Will Baptist Church. We're excited that you have chosen to join us on this amazing journey where we watch God guide and provide for His people, the Israelites, as they journey with Moses through the wilderness. They had to trust that God would be with them and care for them along this journey where they didn't know exactly where they were going. Who can tell me what last week's lesson was about? That's correct. God provided the Israelites with manna and quail exactly when they needed it. Last week's Bible verse told us that God knows exactly what we need even before we ask Him. He knows everything about us. This week, Our Bible point is God gives us strength, so trust God. We'll learn about a time that the Israelites needed to trust God to give them strength. The Israelites weren't mighty soldiers or powerful warriors. They were just simple people, kind of like us. The strength God gives us doesn't mean that He makes us big or powerful or strong. God gives us inner strength. You could call it a quiet strength. The strength to face each new day. You know, lately we may feel like we've had more bad days than good days. We haven't been able to see our friends like we normally do. Many of the things that we normally do have been canceled. The end of the school year was messed up and we missed out on a lot of the things that the end of the school year usually entails. Our families may be beginning to feel overwhelmed by bills that are coming due or changes in work hours. And maybe you're getting a little anxious over how things are going to look for the start of the new school year. When we face hard times that make us feel weak or overwhelmed, we need to remember that God is mighty. So we need to trust God to give us strength to face tough times. God gives us strength, so trust God. This week in the Bible lesson time with Moses, we will learn about a time that God gave his people strength to beat an army. Not Pharaoh's army, but another army, the Amalekites. Take that, and that, and that. You're not in charge anymore. Oh, you'll pay for that. Only if you can catch me. What are you foolish boys doing with these swords? You're going to hurt yourselves or someone else. We're getting ready for battle. Why? If those old Egyptians come after us, they don't stand a chance. Foolish, foolish boys, haven't you heard? Battle may already be upon us and not from the Egyptians. Someone else is coming after us? The Amalekites? They're just a band of raiders. And we're just a band of captives. What do we know about battle? Zara, your father is an artisan. Jimmy Well, your father is a camel herder. How will they protect us? But we can fight. A real battle will be very different. Don't you see? Everyone is so happy to be safe from Egypt, but we're not safe out here. Anyone could attack us. Anyone could take us as their captives, and we could be worse off than before. But Moses says that God will give us strength. He says we can trust God. Wh what do you think? Will God will God um, give us will God help us out here in the wilderness, or will God leave us to our cap enemies? I don't know. I don't like the way it was before, but at least I knew what was happening next. Well, I'm not afraid. I know that God is mighty. I see what He's done. Me too. I want to ask. I want to ask Moses <laughs> if we can. If he needs anyone else on his um new army, let's go, Jim. I hope they're right. This week's Bible verse comes from Philippians four thirteen. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. We have strength to do everything through God's Son Jesus. Let's use some motions to help us remember this verse. For I can do everything through Christ 
who gives me strength. Now remember, if the younger ones can video yourself telling me the Bible point, and the older ones can video yourself telling me the Bible verse each week, then you'll be entered into a drawing for special prizes at the end of the five weeks. And don't forget our offering goal for the end of the five weeks is $500 to go to the Fountain of Youth, which benefits all of our denominational ministries. You may turn this offering in to me each week or at the end of the five weeks. And if, you, if we reach our goal, then I will dye my hair with Kool-Aid and video it for everyone to see. So I hope you have a blast this week at Wilderness Escape.